here's a, a slight twist in that question. Uh, that's also from the chat here. There's a, a patient with brain metastases who was receiving electinib, but then new brain lesions appeared, many new lesions appeared after one year of therapy. And so what's the best option here to switch to lorlatinib immediately or to do stereotactic radio surgery, some sort of radiation, and then switch to lorlatinib? What are your thoughts? So I, I think there could be um, different considerations to be given. And um, I don't think there's like one right correct like answer. Um, I tend to prefer loratinib use in this setting. And I tend to try not to radiate too much whether it be SRS or, um, and I, I really try to avoid whole brain radiation therapy, especially in patients with ALK and ROS1, um, their survival is um, much better compared to people who don't have these alterations. And I have seen terrible cases of radiation necrosis um, because their survival could be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. And you could see late long-term effects of radiation in those cases. So um, that is why I try to avoid the use of radiation, whether it be SRS or gamma knife or whole brain radiation. But um, I think you can also argue that it really depends on each scenario. Like if there was an area um, that's very important in the brain that needed quick treatment, or if there were signs of blood products, was it bleeding? Um, sometimes radiation can work very quickly and is effective. So um, I would have a very detailed discussion with the treating oncologist as well as radiation oncologist and go through all the options. Yeah, that's, that's the key. It's not something that's so formulaic that when we right. talk about uh, brain metastases, the details matter a lot. Uh, size, number, and location. Uh, and so certainly depending on, on where they are, we might tolerate a little more um, uh, growth in the frontal lobe than we would in the midbrain, the brain, for example. So um, that's a, a very good point. I agree that here the word was many new brain lesions. And I think that uh, this is a setting where if you do radiation, you might be radiating a lot. And radiation necrosis can cause a lot of trouble down the line. Um, a lot of confusion, a lot of symptoms, a lot of morbidity. Uh, so I, I think that a case like this, moving to a new CNS penetrant uh, or more effective alkanibitor makes sense, whether it's lorlatinib or perhaps as part of a clinical trial. 